Okay, say you've written a small Java program and you want to share it with your friends uh, but from Eclipse, uh, but of course your friends don't have Eclipse and they don't know any programming. They just want to be able to just double click on it and run it. Uh, how do you do that? Um, so here I have one such little program. I'm going to run it so you can see what it does. I run that, it just prints, hi there, how are you? You click OK and it goes away. The program is done. So that's all it does. It's all right here. You can uh, type this in yourself. Uh, so say now I want to send this program in an email to somebody else. How do I do that from Eclipse? I'm going to go here to the project. I'm going to right click on it. I click export. And then it's going to have all these choices. You look for Java and then runnable jar file. So jar is a Java archive file. You click next. And then here you have to pick your launch configuration, just basically the project name in this case. Uh, here you're going to pick the file name where you want to export it. So I want to export it to on my desktop to hi.jar. I'm going to click there and click finish. I'm going to override it. I already have one. And then uh, once you're done with that, right here on your desktop is the hi.jar file. And I can just double click on that file and it'll run. You will see the message there. And it runs. So this will work. You can take this jar file, you can email it to anybody, and they can just double click it on their machine and it'll run as long as they have Java installed. But it's very likely that they will have Java installed because most machines come with it. And even those that don't, if they have visited a website that uses Java applets or installed any other Java application, they will already have Java installed. So there's a good chance that they can just double click on it and it will run.